Welcome back to Manish Recap. Today I will show you a horror thriller film from 2020 titled The Hunt. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. As the movie starts, we see a group of friends talking to each other on a cell phone. One of the girls is named Athena. She tells her friends that the date of the hunt is drawing near there isn't an idea better than elimination of people here. The finishing of the individual was being discussed clearly. Later, we are shown a secret location where we see some people. These people were basically group members of Athena. Suddenly, a man appears who was so nervous and scared. He was so confused that where he is and how he was brought here, a man comes to ease up on him and lays him down on the ground. After laying him down, he punched his neck with a pen. Due to this, a lot of his blood is drawn, but that man still tries to save himself. Athena herself comes there after hearing the noise. Athena goes to that man and inserts her sandals. Heel into his eye as a result. That man dies on the spot. After it, she takes out his eye with the same heel. Then we see a girl who sees herself in a forest after waking up. Her mouth is tied with a belt. There were many more people other than her who were taken here as prisoners. There is an open area next to this forest. A huge wooden box was placed in its middle. One of those men opens that box. A tiny pig comes out of it. In addition to this, there were many weapons in the box that they all carry. That girl finds a key there by which belts tied with their mouths are open. Someone starts firing on them, which causes the death of that girl first. This firing was done by none other than group members of Athena. A man notices that the firing is being carried out from a distance. A woman tries to run from there, but falls into a ditch. A man goes to help her, but he sees that she fell on the spikes. He frees her and they both run to the forest. But at the same moment, that man steps on the trap and it blasts. The man is saved, but the girl falls onto those spikes again at the same time. Another man comes to help her. But till then, her condition had become so worse because her lower body part had blasted off. That lady snatches the gun from that man and shoots herself. Then he runs toward the forest, where he meets three people. They seize a huge boundary of wires there. Three of them cross it easily. But a man is left behind. Someone hits him with arrows. He runs behind so that he can kill those who are shooting arrows at him. But he couldn't do anything. And arrows start hitting him again and he falls to the ground. Two bombs fell near him, explode, and he dies on the spot. All the three survivors go to a shop where they meet a lady. They both husband. Wife are owners of the shop. Two of three survivors get into a bad conversation with the shopkeeper. Female survivor eats the food placed there. This food contains poison which causes her death. Then we see that the both shopkeepers put on the mask. They spread poisonous gas in the whole store. It causes death of the other two survivors as well. It is obvious now that they were a part of Athena. Then they start cleaning their store and hide the dead bodies somewhere. They make their store as clean as nothing happened here. They are ready for their next hunt. At the same moment, there comes a girl named Crystal, who is the main character of this movie. Crystal asks about her location and purchases cigarettes. From there, when she gets back or change, she doubts the shopkeepers. She shoots them with a gun coming outside. Crystal removes the number plate of a car behind this number plate is another number plate. This makes her clear that the location she is told is wrong. In fact, she is somewhere that she herself doesn't know. She finds some wires connected to the bomb in that truck at the same time. There comes a man named Gary. Crystal tells him that this truck can blast Crystal, and Gary starts walking there at the same time a train passes by them and Crystal climbs up the train immediately following her. Gary also does the same. They find other people there as well who are refugees. Gary tells Crystal that they are here just to mislead them, nothing else. But Crystal doesn't believe his words. After covering some distance, soldiers stop the train and they get everyone out. Gary tells them that these refugees are fake, but no one believes him and leaves. Just then, a man comes to Gary and says, I don't think that they are going to believe your words. Hearing him talking in English, Gary becomes upset here. That man reveals that all the refugees are real except me. Soldiers are also real. But he is an actor and hunter who has accompanied them. Gary becomes angry and hits him. He puts a bomb in his pant he couldn't take the bomb out according to the time, and he dies. Then these soldiers take Crystal to a camp there. Crystal meets a man who was a prisoner, but somehow ran away. There, a man takes both of them with him. That man admires those hunters kidnappers a lot. This makes Crystal doubtful, and she kicks him out of the car. Then Crystal drives the car over him and crushes him. 
he dies. That man scolds Crystal. That that man was the last source who will take them out of here. But when they open the car back, they find Gary's dead body there. They feel that they did a great job by killing that man. Otherwise, he would kill them, too. That man tells Crystal that all prisoners who were brought here are now killed. Only they both are left behind. Crystal says she will kill the people who trapped her here to prove her words. She tells him a story of a turtle and a rabbit. The story, which we have heard in real life, is totally different from hers because its ending is not like the real one. Later, we are shown the same ground where everyone was brought as prisoners at the same time. That secret location is shown as well. Hunters were present there. So did their trainer who made them hunters. Athena is their leader. That man and Crystal arrive there, and that man finds that piglet they send that pig to distract them. Then Crystal comes and kills the hunters one by one. But their trainer is still alive and attacks. Crystal, they both get into a serious fight, and Crystal successfully kills the trainer. Just then, Athena calls that man to distract them. That if he had yet killed Crystal, or not, hearing this Crystal becomes doubtful about that man, too. Crystal kills him without giving him a chance to prove himself that Athena was telling a lie then Crystal goes to that trainer who was still alive and really injured. She asks for Athena's location and then kills her, too. Later, we are shown the scene after a year here. It is also exposed that why did they become hunters and did everything at the start of the movie. We see Athena's chat with her friend in which she talked about hunters it was just their prank. But Crystal and 11 more people who were imprisoned by them leaked their group chat. This was the reason that Athena and her companions were fired from the job. Firstly, they took the hunt is fun, but when bad things happened to them, they decided to turn it into reality because they wanted to take their revenge therefore, they trapped the people who are included in this. When Crystal reaches Athena's location, she sees that she's making food. They both talk to each other. Athena tells Crystal that she knows everything about her. She also makes fun of her family background. Crystal tells her that the Crystal she is searching for isn't her. Instead, she has brought the wrong person. Crystal. Then they get into a huge fight and get injured and fall down after it. They get up and start fighting again. But in the last Crystal wins and Athena gets defeated, Athena dies and Crystal sees a rabbit beside her dead body here. That story is proved, which Crystal told that man. In fact, Crystal was the turtle and Athena was the rabbit. Later, Crystal gets up and eats food made by Athena. Then she wears Athena's dress and leaves with her dog. She goes in her private jet. She asks the pilot to take off the plane. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching.